Hey YouTube, this is going to be a um, review and kind of like a, um, uh, just a video on my bailout box, um, a little different than a bailout bag, and um, I, I want you to tell me what you think of it, um, uh, what you think I should do, do to it, uh, I've done a lot to it, um, this is just a regular box, now this used to be Aviator's Night Vision Imaging System. Uh, so this box with the system and it cost like ten thousand dollars, but now it cost me thirty without it. So, but um, it's a um really good box. It's like you know, this army stuff. Everything is just such such precise and such good quality, such thick metal. Um, I mean everything's just so tight and it's waterproof. I mean this thing is basically bomb proof, uh, bulletproof and everything. So. It has this little valve on here. I just think this is think this thing is just the coolest thing. It has like a little, a little pressure valve to uh, keep things inside at a certain pressure. But anyways, um, so it's kind of a pain, I know, because it's not a bag. You have always the latches to take out. But this is something where, um, you know, if if, if something happens, I'm going to take it with me. Um, you can obviously because it's a handle. But this is kind of like something if if something happens. If you know what hits, hits the fan, um, I'll go to this box because I have a lot of stuff I can use in here. And then if I want to go camping and go on stuff, I'll have this in my truck. I was actually going to keep this in my truck. But anyways, uh, get to it. So it opens with all these latches, six in total. And they're all you know really good quality. They, um, uh, this thing's like you can run it over, over on the truck and it'll, and it'll just bounce away. This is such such good quality. So inside, um, I have a lot of stuff. Um, first thing I have is a um, this thick uh, canvas bag um, I got at the Army Navy store as well. Um, just thought, you know, it's it's a bag. If if I need if if I need to take this, um, I can open this up, you know, fill this up with stuff, and uh, turn it into a bailout bag and go. But um, I also have, you know, can. Uh, to put whatever's in here where I can actually take my knife and cut open and uh, use it for as a you know whatever whatever I need to use it it's a lot of cloth uh, cloth that's always good to have um, probably one of the uh, uh, some something really important in here is um, I have some M MREs um, these uh, this one's been kind of open and I tried the couple things in here but um because I was, you know, kind of, I never tried them, so I wanted to give them a try, and they're, you know, really good. This is the um, civilian one. That's the closest to the um, military, so it's every, it's basically a military MRE, but legal. And then here's another one here. I think it's like um, chicken and salsa and chicken and dumplings. I think for that one. Um, then I have the uh, video of the um, uh, uh, that review of the. Um, uh, survival kit in, in a tin can, uh, Altoids tin, uh, tin, I guess, and then I can put this on my neck. Yeah, this is my um, uh, CKC hiker, um, custom Kylie cutlery, um, amazing little neck knife, uh, razor sharp with that um, convex edge on it. Uh, then I have a I th I have a lot of knives in here. Uh, so one of my other knives is a USMC. Uh, fighting knife, K bar, uh, razor, razor sharp edge. All these knives are razor sharp, um, ready to go. Uh, one of my favorite knives. You can tell how much I've used it because this thing is turning so dull and brown, but it's a great knife. Um, is my another K bar, um, BK2. Uh, great knife. Not really fighting, but for um, hacking and uh, you know wood processing. It has a nice cutic sheath. So. But of course, any edge, anything with an edge, you can use for defense. But I'm not, I'm not in it for that. I'm in it for uh, outdoors. Some more of my knives. This is how I have everything set up in here for my knives. And most of them, I don't know if you can see here. I'll place my laptop. Sorry, on my other camera. But everything has like a little tiny hole, uh, a little tiny like pouch. Let me show you. Like um, kind of like slides in, kind of hides away. I have a couple other mints here. Um, an old Leatherman PST. Uh, I think one of my favorites, actually. And my uh, TTI. I'll put this down, take them out. Now, now they see how, how everything's set up. Um, so I got my uh, 
uh, TTI S30V steel. Man, it's rated blade. I uh, love this. This is what my fiance got me. Uh, one of my favorites. This is um, I, one of my favorite designs. Yeah, because it gets so much in here, and it's just simple and compact. It's, you know, tiny. And then this is the basically the same thing, but uh, just the mini one. It uh, unfolds right here. Becomes just like the um, PST. As you can see. So I really like this one, the um, mini one. It's kind of cool. It has a little tiny um, pen blade. Uh, like one inch so you're limited with tools but it's just cool design in my opinion it didn't last too long I don't believe but I got my hands on one uh, so they're my Leathermans um, I do have a few others I want to put in uh, just just I'm still in the process of making this but I just want to see what people thought of it then on the other side I have a few more knives um, my very first knife I don't really use them knives I don't really use or they're duplicates. Uh, this is my Leatherman C301. This thing's amazing. Uh, it's not really, um, you know, the best knife, but it was my first knife and I really loved it. Um, Skyline, good knife. Not, not a big fan of the hollow ground. Uh, Delica, um, good knife again. I just duplicate and not a big fan of the saber ground. Definitely want to get my hands on one of those um, uh, flat ground. Now this is the um, 940, my favorite knife, another duplicate. So um, there's a couple of duplicates in there. I'm definitely going to be putting most of my knives in here actually, just to, to keep in here for safekeeping. Um, then we have a pen that kind of slides into a little uh, hole I made that's in there. And then also, we have a um, cell phone. It's not on. This is my old cell phone, but it's fully charged. And um, one thing about the um, cell phones is that uh, even though you don't have service, you can always make call the police. So um, it's always good to have. And here, I slid in here was a um, single wing mirror. Uh, you know, not the most necessary thing, but it doesn't take up any room.